Test Jimmy IoT dash cams on TrackSolid Pro. The TrackSolid Pro consists of six modules, monitor, report, device, account, video, and fleet. This video will mainly focus on the video module. The video module consists of four tabs, event, live, history, and setting, which we will introduce one by one. Let's start with the event tab, where you can view and download event video that a device has already uploaded to the server. All operations can be performed whether the device is online or not. To view event video clips from one or more devices during a specific time period, do as follows. Click the device's drop-down list to select one, multiple, or all devices. Click the event's drop-down list to filter by one or all event types. Click the time selection field to specify a desired time period. Alternatively, you can click on the time shortcuts, last seven days, last 30 days, or all. Click search and the results list appears on the right. By default, all unread event video clips are displayed. You can also choose to view all or read video clips. You can play any video clip with just one click. Related information about the event, such as device IMEI, account and location where this alert was triggered, is shown below the player. If you think this event video clip is important, you can download it to the local. This action consumes no data of the device. Next, we'll introduce the Live tab. In this tab, you can watch the live video from multiple devices simultaneously, allowing you to monitor your fleet vehicles and staff from the back-end office. Click on a device name, and all of its video channels will appear. After you select one or more desired channels, the selected channels will begin streaming. If you double-click a device name, all channels of the device start streaming. If the number of selected channels is more than what can be displayed on the current page, the system will automatically change the layout, or you can select another suitable layout in the compatibility mode. The layout that currently supports the most channels is 3x3. Three three. If you would like to view the live feed in a larger screen, you can click on the full screen icon. Next, let's take a look at the History tab. In this tab, you can access the history video clips stored on a device. This tab allows you to perform the following actions on the history video from the backend office. Online playback, upload to server, and download to local. Click the device drop-down list and select a desired device. Select a desired channel from the camera drop-down list. Click the time selection field to specify a date. If no date is specified, the current date is selected by default. Click Search and the results list will appear. If any video clips from the selected channel are saved on the device for the selected date, they will be represented by blue segments on the timeline below. You can drag the slider bar to a blue segment and the device will immediately push that history video to the cloud. You can also watch that history video clip online within this tab. If you think a video clip is important and want to save it locally, do as follows. Click Upload Video and select the video file to upload to the cloud in the pop-up dialog. Click the download icon next to the video clip and the system will send a command to request the device to upload the video. The upload may take a while because the video file may be large and the upload speed depends on the quality of the current network that the device is connected to. You can go to the task center to check the progress and the result of the upload task. If the upload is successful, you can click the download icon and the file will be saved locally for you to play in a media player. Finally, let's look at the setting tab. This tab allows you to configure the parameters for uploading event video from devices to the cloud. The upload consumes device data, so it's recommended that you configure based on your business. Select a device to configure, or if you would like to configure multiple devices at once, make sure that the selected devices are of the same model. By default, the upload feature is disabled for all events. If you want to allow video clips of specific event types to be uploaded, enable the upload feature for them. For certain event types, you can even select the channels from which the event video will be uploaded. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save a dialogue will appear upon successful saving.
If you're interested in learning more, how it can help your business, or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.